Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. Start by apologize for the mess, but uh, it's just the way it is. So, the work today, or the job today, is going to be actually something just uh, educational, if you want to put it like that. So I was try, I know, I was just trying to kind of give a little bit of a tidy up to the to the workshop, as I call it. And uh, and I came across this. I don't even know which car came out from or the reason why, but it was there on the pile of my stuff. Uh, but I know what it is, as you can see in this. Uh, this is a WCM. I think stands for Wireless Communication Module or some other. Uh, and the WCM is this is this is fitted on the Jeeps, Grand Cherokees. Uh, Chrysler's I don't know any other cars but uh, this is the module and what I decide quick to show you is how to read the pin code on these cars from this module so usually uh, there is some tools that can read the pin codes on let's say a Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, I believe this is from a WK if I'm not mistaken usually there's some tools that can do that through the OBD but there is another way in case if you don't have a tool that can do it through the OBD. I actually have a video that you might have seen that video by now uh, where I was actually programming a new PCM into that car, I think it was and um, and uh, and I used another tool that read the pin through the OBD port um, I might put that video in the description below but uh, what I'm going to show you here is how to actually read the pin directly from this board, from the chip so uh, what we're going to do first, we're going to open this, it's just a few tabs around as you can see. Uh, so we'll just push these out, I will show you where we're going to connect roughly and uh, read the data. Okay, and once you open it, this is the chip we are going to read. We are going to read, this is actually a microcontroller, but we, all, we are only interested on the uh, EPROM of this chip. This is a MC9S12, if I'm not mistaken. I'll take you through a little bit more details uh, when I start to do the soldering. Um, but yeah, that's the chip we are going to connect, and we are going to use Xprog for that. Okay, guys, and the connections are done. As per Xprog. And now we are going to connect this to Xprog and try to read. Hold on a second, let me see if I can do this. Like just without stop recording sorry guys you might hear the missus screaming I got interrupted <laughs> so let's plug the so providing my solderings are right in the right place and my soldering is good I should be ready to go. So let's open. Sorry guys, you are not seeing nothing now. So everything's connected. So now, let me try, hold on. Okay, that should be better now, I guess. I can't see the screen, but okay. So let's open a new document. Oh, not this. Let's open a new. Let's try, so blah, blah, blah. Ibram, so that's all good. So let's going to try to read and see what happens. See if there's any good connections, if there's any issues. Okay. But I can access PDM. Okay, so something's not right here. Hold on a second. Okay, let's try this again. And if it works, I will show you exactly what was wrong. See if it reads okay. Okay, verify. Yes. So you read absolutely fine. I'll show you what happens. I need to redo this cable. I don't know if he's going to be able to show you, but can you see? Can you see in there? Hold on, because my phone. There we go. Can you see there the ground? Uh, the ground was broken on the actually leg in there, so I had to redo all that. So, yeah. Uh, this cable has been used so many times that the wires, they start to break. So, but we had a good read, as you have guys just seen. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you where the pin, uh, where the pin is. Just let me disconnect all this, because it's all on the way, and then I'll show you. Okay, so let me show you where the pin code is in this particular module 
obviously guys if you don't think this is going to work for every car and every module it doesn't in this particular module it works like this uh, different uh, uh, serial numbers of the same module with the same chip maybe is the same I don't know uh, without researching I know for this one and I'm going to show you so all you do now so the pin code for this car it was 3637 that was the pin code and you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to look for the VIN number okay and once you find the VIN number which starts saying 1J there you go that there that was the VIN number okay my pin code is going to be right before that but it's not going to be here it's going to be on my X data and that's my pin you see in there 36 37 okay uh, that's where my pin is so and that's pretty much it really guys there's nothing uh, more to, to say uh, the pin is repeated um, is repeated again another two times usually uh, the modules they repeat the data three times so you're gonna see that is one there before the VIN number and then after the VIN number you're gonna see that is all blanks here and then you have the same data here twice see there 36 37 36 37 okay so that's where your pin code is um, I can show you for example I have some hold on a second guys because I think I have here let me show you something I have more files here I'm sure I do have yeah that one actually okay so if I scroll this one down I'll tell you the pin number of this file is from a Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee as well so before the VIN number look in there the first two you select those in come on you select those two in there my pin number is 2163 as you can see in there 2163 okay and now we're gonna look at the end of the VIN number again and we're gonna find this twice again 2163 2163 okay there it is repeated twice okay so I will give you a little bit more details about these uh, if I find the cover for it so this was my module that was the that is the part number and all that stuff so the the part number at the top is the actually uh, Jeep or Chrysler part number the number at the bottom is that the actually manufacturer part number okay so I think that's it for this video guys uh, just really educational uh, we're not going to do nothing with these modules uh, with this module is the only one I have but I do have I can't remember why I have this spare module um, and when I was looking on my uh, Jeep folder I found all those um, uh, dumps in there so maybe I've done something in the past that I can't remember now well whatever guys so anyway if you want to look for a part number for the pin number on a Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee like I said I believe this was the WK um, so if you want to look for it on the WCM that's how we do it and that's it for this video really so uh, hope there's some information on this video guys you're gonna find useful that you've learned something that's the whole idea of my videos hope you enjoyed the video if you do still have any questions any comments guys put them below and like always thanks for watching